Hi, my name is Ethan Fletcher. Uh, I went to school at the Howard School in Raynham and I grew up in Medway. And I am Liam Howlett. I grew up in Medway as well. Um, and I went to the Howard School and studied business, maths and finance. When did you first become interested in finance? Finance and business, I felt like, is something that come naturally to me. Um, and it's something that, growing up as a child, is always something I've been passionate about. And I think the sort of the, the people in which I socialised with were very influential and helped me sort of mould my mindset into, I guess, the finance and business type of industry. What about you? Um, Pretty much from doing economics GCC really. Um, studying that really sort of brought my interest to finance and that's why I continued at during A-levels and now. Name the top things you learnt from CEFs and DIPFS. Uh, for me, budgeting. Uh, the different products are available and the different kind of interest rates that also people may not understand. Yeah, no, definitely product availability and what's offered by different providers. Learning about the, the base rate, uh, the Bank of England, um, and interest rates again was massive and the regulatory bodies was hugely important and I learnt a lot from that. Yeah. And I just wanted to, obviously our teacher was, Miss Ashby was uh, a very influential character. She was very passionate about what she did and it really reflected on our class. And I think, yeah, it really helped us, motivate us to really pursue this course. Yeah, I, I can agree with that actually. She was a big, big influence. Uh, throughout our, our A-level studies and yeah, without her attitude towards the subject, I don't think anyone in the school would do as well as they did. Tell us about your scholarship certificate from LIBF. What does this recognise and how did you feel when you got it? Um, for me, it really recognised uh, the fact that I was in the top 5% of the country uh, that done the qualification. Um, and for me, that was quite a proud achievement to be fair because I know I put in pretty much all the effort I could throughout the two years so I think for me that was that was a big standout. Yeah definitely for me once again similar to you being recognised for the top five percent of the country was definitely a massive achievement. Uh, I was extremely proud putting a lot of time and effort uh, and it wasn't there was a lot of detail a lot of information to take in and actually quite an achievement again uh, and being able to be offered the opportunity to develop and expand my knowledge in the finance and banking industry and sector um, which is what was offered to me through the scholarship was definitely, once again, a huge opportunity and I'd say embrace it if you ever get that opportunity. Yeah.